Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today uh, We came to see this 2000 Mercedes It's got a buy now price of $600 As you can see It was damaged on this side this wheel right here two doors And the ring and we don't know what's going on elsewhere it's very bad damage right there i mean it's selling really really cheap 600 bucks out the doors have be like 900 dollars i already hooked up the battery to this it comes with a six cd changer i got the key let's see if it starts It's got 135,000 miles. Look at that. Ooh, service exceeded by 1,100 miles. Ooh, sounds hefty. Or sounds healthy, I should say. I don't know, that worries me though. Let's check out the engine. There's no water. Good pressure on the on the cooling system. Oh, it's got the air ride suspension. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. Let's go up. I think this is it. So it needs brakes. It's telling me that it needs brakes. Aromatic, visit the workshop. Damn, it's not working. Overall, it looks good. I mean, it's old. Don't expect something to look nice. Well, it still looks nice, but don't expect something new. New. It's got the Bose sound speakers. Really cheap, but I'm looking more like a flip car, something that I can just buy and resell quick since we now got our dealer license. And this one, I'm gonna be spending more money than, than what I need to, so I wanna stay away from this one. It's a beautiful car, but it's not for me, not what I'm looking for at the moment. Alright you guys, moving on. Somebody asked me for a Tahoe. Actually two couple asked me, two people asked me for a, for a Tahoe. Uh, this one, let's see what, this one it's a 2016 Chevy Tahoe with 48,000 miles. Oh, it's locked. Psych. Looks good. Got some spare parts in the back. Still has power. No air box to point. That's good. It's got the easy fill up thing. No more gas caps. Well, this thing is broken. That's that. What's this? Some nuts and bolts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tahoe LS. 
This is good. Oh snap, this one is deployed. At least the airbag didn't go off. Same thing on the driver's side. The seatbelt went off. Good thing the airbags didn't. So this one's still fixable. We can fix this. So I'm gonna show them what I found and let them make the call. By the way, you guys, we now that we have our dealer license, every single car we show on Copart, and you guys are interested on, we can buy it and sell it to you. We can buy it, fix it and sell it so leave it on the comments let me know if you're interested on let me know what kind of what kind of car you're looking for and i can find it oh snap look at this these are the frame wraps man supposed to be straight aren't they yeah look at that kinko in the back right there what the hell are supposed to be straight what it's supposed to come up straight so it's looking facing that way now yeah nah this one it's gonna be a lot of work and i don't think it's something i'll be comfortable selling to other people frame damage cars especially that bad no it's a no go Okay, so this is a 2007 Ford Fusion that was hit on the fender and it kind of ripped up the door. But the door can be easily fixed, we just gotta take that off, take that off, replace the door. Still opens and closes. We got a fairly deep scratch, scrape, scratch, whatever you want to call that, on the side. It's got a pretty big trunk. With spare tire and all of that. Spare tire tools. Looks like it's never been used. It's got good tires, optimal um, hand cook. Let's see, that's what this one is. Yeah, same one. Good headlights, good front, good headlights. Yeah, three out of four. Yeah, it's got four matching tires. As you can see, it's running really good. Oh, it's got electric power seats, I should say. No check engine lights at all. The AC is nice and cold. Uh, this thing is coming up a little bit, but that's no big of a deal. I mean, this car is sitting at Right at 600 bucks, $600 plus whatever you're gonna put to fix that car. The oil change was done, 1,229,000 miles. Let's see. You can tell us, how do I change it? Let's close the door. It's got 125,000 miles, oh okay. So recently, they changed the oil recently. So new oil, that explains it because I checked that and it was really clean oil. So check it out. This is the kind of wheels you can get in full part. You just gotta come and look. Uh, I already checked the transmission. The way you check it is you put them on gear and give it gas. If the transmission transmission is bad, it's gonna pop off from gear. It's got a strong transmission because you see the car wants to move. I show you, it goes backwards and forwards. It turns. The AC is nice and cold. The radio works.
it comes with comes with a free um what do you call these things i forgot damn it flashlight there you go <laughs> sorry guys i haven't ate i haven't eaten nothing yet so, so. and it also comes with a Paul McCartney cd it's got the menu all the manuals yeah 2007 you guys 600 bucks you can't even get this kind of car for 600 bucks so with fees and all you're looking about say a thousand bucks now it's gonna find a door and fender and maybe a little suspension and see what it's gonna come out to but yeah i think this is one of the ones that i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get this one yeah Press reset for what was it? Okay, I want you to give me the info on this. pressure okay brake fluid okay interior lamps okay fuel level okay and the muscle empty yeah not bad not bad I think I'm gonna get this one the mission has got power seats look at this little forwards and backwards it's got the manual level for the for this thing right here yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, door locks work. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, all right. I think this is it. I think we're gonna get this little car. See you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So here we got a 2009 Cadillac CTS. On the exterior, seems pretty good. The clear coat is fading, as you can see. Uh, we're missing the trim piece right here. Rear. This is damaged right here. A few things. Other than that, you just place the headlights, that headlight, a new bumper, new fender, and it's good to go. Interior looks decent, we got leather seats. Okay, the door doesn't open. Uh, let's see the interior. Oh, it's got keys. Oh, it's door is door now. And we got our handy dandy booster. Uh, okay. Let's check the oil real quick. It's got oil in it. can't see water in there this thing is broken I don't know why it's suspicious it looks like somebody was working on this you see this right here there's no chocolate milk on that we got coolant it says run and drive. 
let's put that to the test. The good thing in California is you're allowed to bring your own booster pack. So this one is mine. I brought it from home. That way I don't have to be waiting from, for them to come and jump start the car for me. I can do it real quick. Let's see if it fires. Gotta tear on the seat. What's that? So fires, it's on. What is that? So that's the fan inside. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Let's disconnect the booster pack. I don't want to drain my battery. Oh, it's light. So now we got the airbag light blinking. That was weird. It went away. Airbag light came back on. Why is it doing that? Maybe because the battery is dead, maybe? Let's try the AC. Yeah, we got cold AC. We got dual AC. It's dying again. Now we got all the lights on. And they go away. What is wrong with this car? Check this out. I turn on the, the fan. Car just died on me. I don't know. It could be just a dead battery. It could be a whole bunch of things. Uh, you know what? I don't want to find out. Let's go. All right, guys, check out this beauty. Huh? You gotta be a Ford lover, Mustang lover to appreciate this. 2003 Ford Mustang. And this one is the Mach 1. And it has the hood shaker. The shaker hood, I should say. Nice wheels. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You used to have the louvers. Somebody took that off. Interior. Oh, it's a 2003. Don't expect luxury. 2003, man. See, this used to be my dream car when I was a little kid. What's wrong with this one? It says run and drive. Let's see the beautiful engine. Oh yeah. JLT performance. Look at that beauty. VA 32 valve. That's a beauty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
but my luck I already checked and it's been sold already damn it I get no luck today nothing hey it's part of the game though sometimes you win sometimes you lose you know the only thing I lost was the gas because it's my day off so I get to relax come over here and look at the cars if I see something I like I'll buy it if it's available if somebody already bought it all right guys this is a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle check that interior huh I'm gonna ask what interior Check out this power plant. 6.7 turbocharged engine. <laughs> no, it's not. Basic little engine. It's got, hey, it's got quite exhaust though. I seen people make this ones onto a sand buggies with like all tricked out, suspension, Beagle engine hanging on the back. There was a video on YouTube of a guy jumping one of them on a city. 58,000 miles. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. All right, you guys, check this out. 2001 Lexus LS430, 232,000 miles, 883. For that many miles, the interior is pretty pristine. That door is locked. Got nice rims. LS480, that was worth some money when it came out new. If you remember, they came with the spins in the back. That one's missing. Yeah, not bad. So what do you do when you get in a wreck? Well, just pull a whole bunch of these little things, these little crystal things. Try to make a nice and pretty. Put some duct tape on the, on the headlight. Or you just find a whole different headlight from some other car, as you can see. Not the same one. And then you just write in it. Ouch! <laughs> we got some foil tape as well. And it looks like the damage wasn't even huge. We got some bird uh, feathers. This could be an easy fix. New headlight. I won't even worry about the bump, the fender. Feather or the hood, I will leave the same ones. Replace the bumper because that one's cracked. And done. This one says it runs and drives. Let's see how much it costs. Let me pull out the handy dandy Copart app. If it works. Three out of ten times it will work. And of course it didn't. Let me tell the number manually. Three zero zero two seven one ninety nine. See what I told you? Sold. Man, I have no luck today. None. Nothing. Damn dust devil, it stole my hat. <laughs> ah. 
I thought for sure it was gone. All right, let's keep moving on. Check this out, you guys. I've seen this porch SUVs more and more often in Cold Park. More and more often. Actually, there's a whole bunch of them that I can show you. So, no, on this one, no airbags deployed. Check out this this spare tire. Is this supposed to be like this? No air on the tire. See this? That's wild. You got tail lights. Tail lights are good. Unfortunately, this is gonna be out of my price range. Even still, salvage. It's way out of my price range. But the damage wasn't too bad. Oh, not, not bad at all. Let's use this part right here. See this? This is nice and straight. This one is nice and bent. But it's not bad. I don't know why would they total that for that. That's that's nothing. Check out this Alcantara interior. Nice. Nice, nice, beautiful car. Beautiful car. Beautiful color too. I can't open the hood because it's got the tape and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to rip off the tape. It's already open. Oh, it's already ripped. Well, this might as well. Let's pop the hood open. All right, so is this what? Yeah, little four cylinder. That's the transmission in the back right there, if you can see it. Let's put it back. Uh, 2017 year model. Yeah, just for the heck of it. Let's see how much it cost. Well, this, let's see. Let's do three one two zero ten thirty-nine. It's not on sale, 2017 Porch McCann. We'll keep an eye on this one. But like I said, it's gonna be probably out of my price range. But still, let's keep looking. Alright guys, this is the area where all the carnage is. Can you tell what that is? I can't. This used to be a boat or an RV. I don't know. Check this out. A semi. Damn. Oh, spotted a Cadillac. Let's go take a look at a Cadillac. All right. This is a 2009 Cadillac CTS. 159,000 miles. Now what's wrong with this one? Side swipe. You can't open the doors because of the tape. It says it drives. 159,000 miles. It's got damage all over it. Let's see how much it costs. So we're looking at a 2009 Cadillac CTS. Oh, that's been sold. Well, that's that. Let's go 
Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. All right, you guys. This will be the last one of the day. This one is a 2017 Tahoe. As I mentioned before, somebody asked me for one. So that's what I'm looking for. Do you gotta open up with the remote or something? Oh, duh. All right. Yeah, I saw that on the internet at the house. Okay, so it looks like we need a door. No airbags deployed, that's good. Look at this beautiful interior, man. Beautiful. For you little kids. See? See, keep an eye on them. A lot of space. Power seats. This looks nice. Real nice. We got some damage right here. You can see how it opens. Minimum damage. Pretty minimum. I wonder why they total it. Next. Oh, 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 I see. That's why they total it. See this right here? That's why they total it. Yeah. What is that? Fuel pump or what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the air ride suspension. Yeah, that's what it is. Air ride suspension. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's what that is. All right, so I'm going to show you guys something, okay? This right here, it's going to be straight. That's a stretch to the shock. See the one over there? Nice and straight. This one is all bent out of shape. Yeah, that's why they totally. Eleven thousand miles. It can be fixed though. Get the number. We'll keep our eye on this one. Can we open the hood. Open the latch. What is this? I don't know what that is. It's like a trailer control or something. Where's that? At? Okay. Look at this. We're missing the battery. Hmm, it says run and drive. It looks like we're missing something here on this area. I don't know what that is. It looks too empty. But I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, so we'll, choose. we'll keep an eye on this one. Moving on. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and actually buy the car because we already got all the parts that we needed. I don't know if you can see this, but there it is. We're gonna go ahead and hit buy. Alert. And I hit, okay. Okay, so we gotta actually clear this. Done. Clear, done. Now, this is the car. We're gonna go ahead and buy it. Confirm the purchase.
<laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed the video. So tune in next week. We're gonna make another one and hopefully maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll get another another project and we'll get this one done so we can sell it. So see you guys on the next one. Peace.